What's up, guys? Uh, in today's stream, we're doing a slap shot analysis. I asked you last week to uh, submit your videos. We got Reddit, How to Hockey. We got Team HTH on Instagram, and I pulled a few of your videos. And also QuarantineCamp.ca. Pulled some of your videos. I got them up here. Uh, we're gonna go over some of your slap shots. I'll give some tweaks. Maybe it's not an exact video of you, but you can probably take away a few things that these guys are doing that you could use to improve as well. Also gonna go through a little bit of a slap shot lesson. Also, if you're just tuning in on YouTube, you wanna get into the stream, we do have a, uh, a Google Meet going on right now. So if you wanna join that, uh, I put everything in the video description. So we got the link, you can click on that and join. Uh, there might be a way for me to auto uh, allow people, but let, let's actually pull it up here. I can show you guys. Uh, all on the screen here, boom. So I think I have to uh, let people accept in. People yeah, I have to accept, accept, accept right. everyone. So Jeez. we, we got people coming in by the plenty, but if you find that you're waiting, it's just because uh, I'm in the middle of uh, doing the lessons, but here we go. Should we I just sit there and click? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, hey, Hayden, you, you can uh, join a few people in as well. Uh, I got the chat window open, so it's good to see everyone here. I think if I... Yeah, there we go. All right, this is a much better grid. I like this. We got La Papa, we got Tommy, we got Connor, we got Swifty 50. Hello, Swifty 50. Yay. Nice to finally see you. Um, who else we got here? Kabir, I got your video, buddy. So I saw the one that you put on uh, Instagram. So we'll be looking at that. Uh, let's take a look at the slap shot first. So a few things that I like to see, and I'll get you to go uh, mobile with the camera. Hayden can join, uh, admit a few people into this stream here. Um, and you know what? I'm actually going to pull uh, the stream up so I can see comments coming live. Look at this crazy tech we got going in. So, so I'm watching. Pause oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll pause the, uh, the YouTube video here. I can see myself seeing myself. <laughs> there we go. So I can uh, join in right here. Mr. Fox 21. Sorry, I can't join because it's raining where I live. Bad internet when it rains? Is that... <laughs> um, if you go to security and disable waiting room, everyone can join. Hayden, I got a job for you. Thank you very much. Joe Cool, thanks for the tip. You think I should, I should know these things. Like I live online. It's just, to be honest, like an hour before the stream starts, I'm like, oh shoot, I gotta get everything ready. And I, I could be more prepared, uh, but this, I like to just figure things out as we go. It, it, we're in this all together. Yeah. So thanks, Joe Cool. Uh, Emin says, what's up, Coach Jeremy? Hayden, big fan. Hayden, That's you got some fans, yeah. part of the hater club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I want to talk about the slab shot. Let's start with uh, I'll just a quick run through. Things I like to see. I like to see a wide stance. Uh, I'm going to talk about common mistakes. One of the things that I see uh, the, the, the most common mistake is your bottom hand. A lot of people learn how to take the wrist shot, and, and they're probably around here, like elbow touching right there, like that distance. And then for the slap shot, they're basically just taking like the same sort of wind up for a slap shot. It's, it's not going to work for you because with the wrist shot, your shot comes more like around like uh, the plane of the body like this. So if you can visualize my stick, it's kind of like moving around my body like a hula hoop, right? But for a slap shot, it more comes up and then down. Like straight. Yeah. In that, that same that, straight plane. Yeah. So if you can picture this, this plane here, right? It's like up and then down, and I'll show you at least halfway down the stick. Uh, I always say it looks and feels like a punch towards the puck. That's good, Coach Eric. I like that. Is this a hockey coach here on Reddit? Uh, it, yeah. I know on Reddit, uh, hockey players, there's a coach, uh, a user there. His name is Hockey Coach here. And he's really helpful, has all really good tips um, if, you're, if you're part of that hockey community there. So yeah, about halfway down, a little bit more to with that, just not on prep right down here. <laughs> You're not going to get yeah. much flex down there. All right, so right, right around the center is good. Uh, what we're going to do, the position of the puck, I like it lined up foot, right? Uh, you can have it a little further first. Then by the time you get here, the blade is open, and it's just going to cause the puck to, to flip. I saw a couple people on Reddit that were shooting like that, yeah. Yeah, it can be a way to cheat, sort of, when you're just trying to lift the puck. Yeah, if you're trying to get it top corner from... Yeah, so something. you make like a wedge, and it's like it kind of works, but in the long run, it's a bad habit to get into. So focus more on hitting the ground first, and then uh, pushing through. I see Grady Metzger here says, my slap shot needs some work. I'm here for you, Grady. Yeah. We're here, all right? And it takes time. You got to keep on putting the... the uh, like you're going to mess it up a lot. It's going to feel so terrible. and like, oh, I just can't figure it out. You'll be frustrated, but eventually it will click and then you'll be like, oh, that's it. Once it clicks, it's, it's really nice. All right, Clark McNeil says same. Uh, here we go. So up here, down, drive right through. Um, 
what we want to do, remember, is hit the ice first, uh, and we don't want the, the stick to come like around like this, right? So don't don't bring it back like this, like a golf swing. Don't do any big crazy or circles. Or, yeah, it's not like a baseball bat, right? Um, I like to start right about there, bent knees, butt down, head up, chest out, right? Good form. You want that good um, stance, right? Good posture. You don't want to be like hunched over too much. You want your weight like kind of where the puck exactly. is. Exactly, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah, you put your chest a little bit over where the puck is so you can drive through. So you're gonna wind up like this and you can see I shift my weight so it's like my, my joints are aligned. So my shoulder, my knee, my ankle, they're all, all lined up. And then I'm gonna drive off this back leg. I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna hit the ground, I'm gonna drive through with this bottom hand. It's gonna flex that stick and then kablamo, the puck explodes off the stick. <laughs> so uh, I'll rip one past Tilbert right here. He's not gonna, uh, by the way, his, hel his, his head fell off. Oh, um, I, 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 I got to watch the follow through here. I can't over rotate. So uh, you really got to do that straight follow through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really got a point where the, uh, uh oh, oh. uh oh, what just happened? Did you just unplug the TV? I, I think I just unplugged the, the TV here. Here, want me to throw this on the tripod? I can fix it or you got it? I, I, I got it. It's just got to reboot the whole thing. Uh, um, <laughs> hey, at least I didn't kill the stream just here. Maybe yeah. that'll uh, help with the, the lag. Um, yeah, throw this on the tripod. I'll get Hayden to do some tech support. <laughs> I'll blast some, uh, some pucks at. Hilbert and the show will go on. See, it's a good thing I hired you, man. Yeah, you wouldn't hire me <laughs> The show must sure go you're on. Far enough so people on Twitch can see too. Okay, okay. Like, so, so yeah, I'll, like I'll blast a couple from right here. Yeah. All right, so up, down. Boom. Wow. Hilbert did not see it coming. Maybe another <laughs> one here. Boom. So you can see that I'm coming down. I'm hitting the ground first, driving through to my stick. Oh, we'll have to uh, reconnect the um, that thing there. Yeah. Right, one more, right? So you, you can watch the, the path of my stick. You see how it comes up towards you guys. Uh, and I like to think of it like it's a heavy sack of potatoes, if that helps, right? I'm just kind of keeping like that. It's like I'm going to throw it like one, two, three, right? Uh, but remember, once you hit the ground, you drive through. So here we go one more time. And, and what really is going to help and I noticed this working with the radar gun, what really helped my uh, slap shot speed, that uh, I probably added about four or five miles an hour just by doing this, is really utilizing this back leg. Because your legs are the, the biggest muscles in your body, right? So if you're just kind of like swinging like this with your arms, you're only using your arms. Okay, well now you start using your legs. Not only are you getting that explosive power from your legs and you want it to be like a chain reaction, you're also getting that uh, body weight into it. So, you know, if, if you're young, you're only like 80 pounds, well, you're still getting all 80 pounds of your body weight into it, which is going to help uh, affect the trajectory trajectory is that, of this puck, right? So whatever you can put into it, put it into it. It starts with the drive of that leg, that back leg, really just, just pumping through. Watch it. Here we go. Ready? One more time. So focus on hitting the ground first. Oh, you trying to connect to the internet now or? I think it should be connected. Oh, we should be good. Um, what was I clicking on? It's like some Vcast receiver. That's the one. Uh, uh, and then go to yeah, yeah, and then open up there and then put in that code. All right. All right. So, um, yeah, th those are my biggest tips. Uh, I do have... Oh, you got, you got me going. Got my uh, audio in the background. So, I do have videos that you guys sent in and we'll go over those first. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll look over a few and then I'll go and check out what you guys are doing through the, uh, the Google Meet, which uh, right, luckily it's still running on the computer, right? So it's just yeah, a matter of connecting it. Have good your, to go. Um, <laughs> oh, for, for what? To connect that. Yeah, the password is right there 9L1S4R. Oh, okay, okay, okay. My bad. All right. Um, yeah, let, let me know in the, uh, in the chat any issues that you've had with your slap shot. I think some common ones are that, uh, well, you get no power. So for that, it's, it's really just getting your form. You got to get the repetition until you have some consistency. Once you get that consistency, uh, the two biggest things that I found was using your leg, driving through, and really driving with this, uh, this hand to, to flex that stick when you hit the ground first. And the last one, which is kind of like a, a hidden, a, a cheat code, I would call it, because uh, it worked at like a couple more uh, miles an hour, is focus on that hip snap. Right, to, to get a little rotation, a little bit of torque in there, right? So uh, when I drive through, I'm, I'm also adding this to the shot. So if you're already pretty good at your slap shot, you can try really uh, like aggressively opening up that hip towards the target. Uh, oh, here we go. I got you back up on the screen. We're good. Sorry I touched things. I broke everything. Um, 
Beauty. Uh, and you can uh, join in. Zivai, Zivai just joined. Great to have you, Zivai. Well, let, let's just take a look at some of your shots here since it's uh, up while Hayden uh, plays with everything. So I'll give you a close up look. You keep getting pop ups the screen. with me. <laughs> Jay Mazzy, I got uh, uh, Jay Mazzy. I'm pretty sure I got your video in the uh, screen here. All right, so we got uh, who's this? Pretty sure this is Swifty Fifty. Okay, there we go. Uh, so <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Hayden's doing all this. No, La Papa, La Papa. Nice. Let's see. Uh, let's see your shot. I'm taking a look at Le Papa top left corner. I'm getting some stick handles. Let's see a slap shot here. <clears throat> Okay, so the pop, I, I see that you're taking uh, the, the, the advice of keeping basically the stick uh, straight up and straight down. What I think would work better for you though is uh, bring the puck in a little closer to your body. So the puck location is important. I can see you're, you're kind of stick handling like further away like you would when you're you know, going to shoot a wrist shot. Right. But then when you bring your stick straight back, Right, it's it's almost like it's too far away to get any significant and flex. And also, your hands have to be right? up higher in order for yeah. you to reach the puck. And your hand would would have to be up a little bit higher. So uh, bring the puck in a little close to your feet, and that allows you to hold the stick about halfway down. Or in her case, step closer to the puck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> step. You could step a little. Yeah. Step a little closer. Right. You only want it maybe like a foot and a half, and that way allows you to get your uh, your body weight over it. So try that, La Papa. I'm oh, watching that, a little closer. There we go. Yep. That's good, and you're gonna pop that top hand out as the stick comes down. Oh, that was a ripper of a shot, actually. That was really good. Yeah. Uh, so I, yeah, I'm impressed with that. Usually the corrections don't work very well the first time you try you them it a because years. it just feels so awkward. Whatever you used to practice, if I ask you to change, it's gonna feel weird. Um, so the papa, the other thing is if you look at my stick uh, on the video, so when I contact, it's not really gonna be like this. You see my shaft? Right, that's like for a wrist shot, that's how it would be. But for a slap shot, it's more like this. Like um, almost like that's my path of my stick, if you can see it on the ground. Okay, um, this off. It's, it's closer to this uh, than it would be like that, like how I'm holding it. Uh, just just to, to give you a representation, right here when I start my shot, you can see uh, the distance of the stick between my knees, it's basically aligned with my body, right? right? So I'm, I'm not like this with the stick out in front and then going like this, like a kind of like a wrist shot. I go like this, right? And then it's here and then down. And as as I come down, my top hand comes more here. So there is that. And it's and it's really close to your body as well. Yeah. I notice some people have their hands out a bit too far. All right, like they're holding it. Or, like or even they have it straight out, but they bring it, they bring their arms out like really far like this right 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 to do it. so so i just watched the papa look like she looks like she made a uh, oh I, I can just click admit right here i think uh, oh nice I, yes I, I tried screen. to figure out how to make it so they could join but it just kept popping up so. yeah so the papa making some good uh, improvements here yeah so 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 bring that top in like as you as you um swing bring both hands sort of towards the net and then when you hit drive it's, it's kind of like you rotate right there and open up through. right yeah so it's like <laughs> oh, almost, <laughs> almost got you hating oh the pop is looking good I got, i'm gonna look at some other shots oh, we got a lot of people yeah, tuning in here uh jay mazzy let's take a look at that and we got kabir i know uh he, he sent in a couple videos oh kabir is ripping him i think he's running bardowski jay mazzy let's take a look at that shot uh, you got the rollerblades on too. I like that. I did see some videos come through from uh, from Mazzy when he was uh, oh, practicing from last stream, right. going on that inside leg and then outside nice. leg. Let's see. Here we go. A couple slap shots here for, for the uh, slap shot. You want to try and like for us to be able to review it too. The best angle I find is the side view. Yeah, basically like, like right like here. Connor has there. Yeah, Connor Trees so has that a good you can angle. See where the foot positioning is and stuff. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it's kind of hard to tell, like if their stick angle could be wrong or that they're not stepping through it enough. Yeah. And uh, is there any comments on the stream about lag or anything? I'm just wondering if maybe Google Meet is like takes up more hogging up. Yeah, yeah. hogging the bandwidth. Um, I haven't seen any. I'll scroll back a little bit. No, it seems pretty good. Beauty. All right. So guys, let's take a, uh, a break from shooting. I'm gonna go over some uh, some video analysis. I'm gonna mark it up right here, right. and and then uh, we'll go back to, to practicing our shot. And the next take thing, take notes if there's anything that applies to you. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna do it down here. And uh, Hayden, help me 
angle this TV so there's like uh, less reflection or whatever. I don't know, or, or you, is it good, good there? Like there, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I that, can move it a bit angle. closer if you want. Yeah, yeah, get a little closer, yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, if I tilt it, does that make it worse? Yes, very much. <laughs> <laughs> it just depends on, yeah, because I... It's just the light from the area. The wide angle looks good. Right about there. All right. Nice. Wah, wah. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, so first we've got Havoc34. He's on Reddit. Uh, I'm going to drop my stick for this one. And uh, come on. Frozen. It ain't working. Way to go, coach's eye. PC version, you know what I'm saying? Let's try this again. <laughs> On an Apple, that would work. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. Uh, all right. So, so this is what I was sort of talking about, uh, right about there. Oh yeah. It, it kind of looks like he's he's holding the stick like he would for a wrist shot, and he is uh, you know kind of stepping into it and all that. But he's I getting the weight shift. Just yeah. At the wrong spots. I, I could definitely see the, uh, an advantage uh, or an increase in power if he could get his hand a little bit lower on the stick. And it also seems like, uh, let's zoom in here. Whoa. If we can catch a frame Enhance. rate here. Enhance. Yeah, it, it doesn't really look like he's hitting the ice first. You can see the blade. Well, you could. Blade is already starting to open a little yeah. bit. The blade's already sort of open. Right. This is what happens when you're recording like uh, 30 frames per second. See, 120. <laughs> Right, so right there, blade's kind of open, and then he's just like hitting the puck mostly. You don't see a lot of flex from that stick. So something that is really going to help you have that uh, top hand a little bit further down. And it does look like he's just kind of, um, you know, lobbing pucks. Like, I, I don't think he's putting everything that he could yeah. into this shot. He's not fully leaning on the stick. Do yet. Doesn't want to break that neck. But like you know? even still with little effort, you could still make some like power improvements too. Oh, yeah. Uh, so here, here's the shot again. Can't really see the wind up. Um, but right there, decent weight transfer. Like he, he is stepping into it, getting that weight shift, and we can just see the hands there. Yeah, same thing. I think so, moving a bit closer, maybe moving those pucks that he can't step closer to the oh, fair. puck too. Like, because like I know if if I have like stuff around my feet and I'm trying to do a slap shot, it's really distracting. Yeah, because right? like you don't have that on the ice. Like maybe a stick gets in your way, but you kind of power through it. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, I, I would just say uh, move the bottom hand a little bit further down the stick. And um, try to hit the the pad a little further back, and then really drive him with that bottom hand. Uh, when you're older, you have the advantage of the weight, so you really want to uh, lean down on that stick and, and flex it. Yeah. So you're gonna, you're gonna Which will be easier if he moves it back in his stance too. Uh, with the, the puck. Yeah. Yeah, the puck location can uh, can make a difference. Oh, Eric. Whoa, I just, just how that happen? I, I, I probably activated something to switch to the next window. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. I mean, if you're trying to do it, and then <laughs> you do it by accident. Yeah, or it just it just uh, closed coach's eye altogether. I see everyone's still working on their shot, so that's good. Beauty like that. Well, yeah, probably like uh, testing what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. And, and I think that's a really good way to do it. Actually, yeah, for is sure. you know you hear something, you try it. Uh, you know, keep what works and uh, st stay curious. Yeah. There we go. There we go. All right. Scrub through. Ooh. Clark McNeil, happy birthday from last week. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Clark McNeil had a uh, birthday. How was it with the Corona virus lockdown? Um, did you have a, a drive by or did you did you put hula hoops six feet apart and everyone just kind of? <laughs> I've seen them doing that at the air parks. Fives. <laughs> yeah, air high fives. Yeah. All right, should have trimmed this one a little bit. That's my bad, guys. I remember last time. I, I, here we go. All right. Uh, so we got Anaheim Ducks 16. And I think this is just working on the snapshot from uh, oh, from last week. Yep. Right? So this is something else you can try. So starting position. What we were working on last week's stream is to not stick handle the puck. Just get it. Uh, I think he's going to pull it in and then shoot it. Uh, I like the top hand location. Uh, I like. So he, he's starting with the puck on the toe. When you've got decent form, that's that's okay to do. And then he's gonna move and uh, and snap it more to the um, the the middle, or what I call the pocket of the blade. So you can see stepping into it, opening the blade, puck comes off. That's good. So you can see with this this slow motion, you can see more of the uh, the fundamentals of shot. And you can see he started with the puck over here, mm -hmm. dragged it to there. That's a great way to change the angle. And you can see here, right? So touch it with the toe opens the blade, the puck comes off a little. And then right here, what I want to see is a pull from the top hand, a push from that bottom hand to get a little bit of flex on that stick. And it looks like he's doing, he's got a, a bit of flex. It's not uh, massive, but oh, here we go. A little bit more flex right there. And then snap through. 
So yeah, pretty pretty good form here. Um, the only thing I would see if yep. for more power is looks like he opened the blade just a little bit early. All right. Like if he, if he leans a bit, like puts it a bit farther back, leans slightly more, and yep. then opens it last second, he'd get a bit more power. Yeah. So but overall, the fundamental form is good. Just play with the timing. That's always uh, yeah. it's something good to and. Uh, it looks like this the the step into it is not really there like it, it's oh yeah he's kind of stepping to the side let's a little see bit. yeah it, i mean it's it's good he what, what it seems like he's doing is just dropping his weight so right. I'll, I'll demonstrate that here right so it's 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 more like it's there and then just drop like that right, right? Which, which step but that that is a technique to get some weight on your stick because right. you can kind of drop your body weight um, what I wouldn't mind seeing though is, is start with the puck there and then step. So right, you can see how my weight comes from here to there. It's and a more dramatic. Exactly. Yeah. And when you're on skates, that that momentum it's continues. Even farther, yeah. Well, and it continues, right? So now I'm getting the puck moving. Uh, like I'm adding some extra speed to my shot. I'm I'm dropping my weight if I stay low, right? And then you get that snap. Right. So right, and you get ah! you get that timing. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get some foam pucks in here to really mess with the people at home. So you get that timing of that step shot like that, right? right. Uh, Tarasenko is really good at that. So we got another uh, slap shot here. Oh, oh, the quick one. This uh, this scroll wheel can be a little finicky. On this TV, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like fine on the iPad. But <laughs> it goes. It's like if you scroll more than twice, it's like ah, oh, go to the beginning. This is what it does. <laughs> one frame per second. One frame per second. 6,000 frames per second. <laughs> so this is from uh, U Biddles 97. I hope we didn't skip anyone there for after uh, Anaheim Ducks. I don't think so. No, okay, good. There you go. Yeah. See, I did want to import each clip individually just so we didn't have this, uh, this problem. Uh -oh. Okay, so U Biddles, we got uh, the slap shot coming through. So let's see. Um, I see the puck is well in front, which if he, call, if he plants if he his- steps through. It, right, if he plants his foot there and then hits the puck there, that's not a good thing. But if he lands his foot, sort of lined up with the puck, so I'll show you the difference right here. Let's see what happens. It's a mystery, right? So if I step like this and then hit the puck, you can see go this angle, yeah. right? The puck is like a couple feet in front of me. It's going to be hard to get all my power and weight because I'm, I'm overextending, right? Whereas if, if I step like this, now I've got that puck in, in my sweet spot and I can drive through and I can uh, exert a lot more power onto it because it's flexing, unflexing, I can snap through. So you're just gonna uh, use you, the mechanics of your body a lot better. Not to mention it's impossible to have your blade closed if it's out in front of you. And, yeah, so it's really tough, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just better, uh, but better fundies. So let's see that step from you, Biddles. And they're pretty good, okay. Uh, I think even where the camera angle is, pretty much line up with his front toe. Not bad. Uh, you can play with where that puck is. So it could be a little further back. I wouldn't go any further ahead One thing than I that spot right too, there. If you're used right. to shooting in skates, yep. sometimes your timing is a bit different off ice. True. Like, ah. Hey guys. Camera angle. Hayden's messing oh, with us. Go. It's right there. Oh, there it is. Normally it's at the top. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I didn't cancel it. We just lost connection. As Coach there. Hayden was saying, um, yeah, if you're on skates, you can have the puck a little more in front because you step into it and then as you're gliding, it comes down, right? When you're on, when you're on feet, it's like where your foot lands is where you contact the puck, right? right? If I'm uh, in skates, I, I can step there and then glide, 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 right? And then I hit <laughs> yeah. the puck there. So a little di different timing yeah, mechanics. Keep in mind. Um, so we're looking at, at you Biddles here. Uh, I sent this in on Reddit. Let's see where he contacts the ground. Oh, this is looking good. That's a good distance, right? Yeah. So I think right about there, it's about a uh, foot. I mean, not his foot, but a foot. Yeah. <laughs> My foot, maybe. Uh -huh. uh, and then, so here's an issue. Oh, look at the board, yeah. <laughs> so if you, if you look at where the puck contacts the blade, uh, because he's shooting off of grass, it, it actually jumped like a, a, f a few inches, maybe one inch. So it's like contacting a stick right there. Right. So uh, you Biddles, if you're watching, if you notice that your consistency is kind of weird, uh, throw a bit of plywood under there. So you got Something like- Something to minimize that balance. Yeah. yeah, because when you hit the board, you're, you're causing the puck to hop up and then uh, hit your blade. You probably lose a bit of power. You might- I, For sure, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he's sailing him over the net. <laughs> yeah, but let's look at uh, hand location is a little further down than the halfway mark, but not too far down. I don't mind that yeah. location, that's good. Um, let's look at his, his form. Uh, looks like his backswing is nice. 
right? He's not doing anything crazy. I see that top Fairly hand straight. moving. Yeah. yeah, it's like he's throwing a heavy sack of uh, potatoes. Some His bottom arm is straight. It's not yeah. bending. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's another thing I see with a lot of people who are learning the slap shot is they'll do like a, a chicken wing. Yeah. Right? I, exactly. I call it the chicken wing like that, right? They'll, they'll come up here and then, and then bend. Right. Uh, completely unnecessary, right? So you hear you, you watch. You lose a lot of power. Yeah, you watch any pro guy and, and they're here, they come down and then they drive with that bottom hander. So you don't have to go like that and, and do the chicken, chicken wing. Yeah. That's what I call it. So you Biddle's got, he's, uh, got good, good form there, stepping in. Uh, some rotation, which is nice, and then drive through with that bottom hand. Uh, I would I would play with moving the top hand maybe, or the bottom hand a little higher, or maybe like an inch or so, see what happens. But yeah, look, overall looks like a good shot. Um, you know, just keep on shooting. I'd get a, a better platform to shoot off of, just throw like some plywood under there. Uh, maybe step into it more, really work on that explosiveness. And I think if you, if you just keep on practicing that shot, like there's not much I would change. Just keep doing it. Um, keep, sure. keep ramping them. There we go. Go to the next one. Uh, this is uh, that house player. Actually, let, let's uh, you know, let, let's give these guys a break. So let them shoot a little bit. We'll uh, I'll, I'll watch your shots on the uh, Google Meet. How's the YouTube stream, guys? Is it is it still lagging? We've got a couple people that were saying it was, but oh, uh, wrong thing. Yeah. It seems all right now. All know. right, we got uh, Kabir. Oh, stream. Here we go. So I'm gonna watch you guys shoot. Right. Uh, take take a quick break from the uh, the analysis, and then we'll go back. So. Let me just go click on this to get rid of this thing. Go away. <laughs> yeah, what? All right, so I'm watching Nikki, Tommy, uh, La Papa. Let's see. Working on a different shot now. Oh, nice shot, La Papa. Beauty. La Papa. Right the target. Look at it swinging. <laughs> yeah, beauty. Uh, we got clap bombs. Who is this? Let's click on T Blazy. All right, I'm going to watch your shot, T Blazy. Let's see. Uh, All right. Here give you some uh, breakdown here. Kabir just saw that one, pretty decent. Okay, let's let's go keep keep ripping them. Let's go T T Blazy. I wonder if we can make him full screen if we like tap on it or something. Probably, yeah. Nice. Yeah, keep keep shooting T Blazy. Let me see a few more. I always like to see a few examples. Oh, oh it just made the whole thing. Hmm. A few more from T Blaze, and I'll give you a few, uh, a little bit of feedback. I always, I always do like the, uh, the slow motion, so I can go frame by frame and really break it down. But all right, so for for T Blazy, just watching that shot. Uh, only thing I would recommend, I'll wait until he tunes in. All right, so uh, T Blazy, if you're listening, beauty is coming into the screen. Um, looking pretty good, I'd say like ninety percent efficiency uh all that i notice and, and you can record yourself as well and just watch it back and and see um you know if you notice this as well because yeah. yeah it's a, these small details um with the with the backswing it seems like you're kind of rushing it and oh, right. you know i i would i would slow it down and and, and just work on that like a, a nice uh wind up and then and then uh power through because it kind of seems like you're like too, too like wild in the in the backswing and that just uh causes inconsistencies um the the more movement there is it's hard right? to line it up straight and yeah get that, so, uh, so you want to just basically get like every bit of energy behind the puck so if, if um you know you're like you're you're bent over and then and then come up like this and then and like that it's just like a, a lot of a little bit of extra movement that's what i noticed it you, it just wasn't like a really clean like backswing downswing right so I, I would just uh work on like back through right weight transfer the rhythm, rhythm yeah to it focus on that posture focus on, on on like just only doing what you need to do to get that shot off it just seemed like a little bit of like bending over and then like coming up and then yeah and but once the the other thing I noticed as well as again that puck placement oh yeah um just slightly too far forward a little too far yeah was uh the same as the other guy was having it chip up a little bit so yeah back it up a little bit really focus on leaning into it don't worry about how high the puck goes just oh yeah just, just that power focus on those nice hard hard shots yeah. um but overall like I I think your form is like. 90% there. There wasn't too crazy, yeah. no, nothing too much that, that would uh, change. Yeah, good job. Yep. So, so good shots. Uh, let's see who else we got on camera. Sn oh, I was going to say Snipe Show 97. Who's oh, this down here? Super chat. Oh, boom. Fuzzy Nut. Fuzzy Nut. Thank you. I, I'm trying to see who's in the bottom left corner he here. He asks, uh, how can I work on taking a slap shot in motion? Okay. 
on ice when I'm off ice. Yeah, rollerblades, only way. Yeah. Uh, so Connor Treister, uh, is, is, I'll, I'll tune into your shot, Connor. Um, and I'll look around like anyone who's taking a shot. So Connor, I like your angle. Uh, once you start ripping shots, it, it's easy to, to sort of uh, see the fundamentals. Okay, keep, keep, uh, keep shooting, buddy. I like to see a few. That way I can notice like the puck placement. Oh, puck's kind of out of frame there. Yeah, maybe take a step back. Yeah, take, take one step back for this one so I can see a little better. Just move the puck in frame. Okay, one more. All right. So, Connor, I'll well, take one more since it's there. <laughs> so, so, Connor, for your, for your shot, um, I think he's going to get pucks, but he, he can watch it back in the stream. Co Connor, for your shot, what I noticed is um, your, your arms kind of stay a little close to your body in the, uh, in the backswing, and then it seems also like your blade opens up in the backswing. I like to eliminate as much like unnecessary movement. So if your arms are kind of like tucked like this and your blade is open, by the time you get up here, when you start coming down, you got to extend your arms and then close your blade. Uh, because when you contact the, uh, the ground, right, if your blade is open, you're just going to chip at the puck. Right, so I like to have the blade like this. So I always just start with it this, like this. So the, uh, the face of the blade, the front of the blade is just always pointed towards the ice. And then I would just have those arms extended when you start, start that shot. So pretty much for me, when I start a shot, I just extend that top hand and then draw back here. That's like the, the, the beginning of my slap shot. So extend and come back, right? It, it seems like you're kind of picking both up and then coming down on it, right? right? So it, just right here, and it's just punch that top hand out and then step through, right? So j just uh, cleaning up the backswing a little bit. That's all I noticed. All right, who else we got on here? Let's do one more and we'll do the, uh, the rest of... Oh, Connor moved over here. <laughs> He's moved spots. Let's take a look at Kabir. Kabir's up in the, uh, the top there. Oh, Kabir's dropping the body weight. He's using all, all 80 pounds that he's got. Beauty. <laughs> What kind of stick he's got? He needs to get a battle mode. That's uh, <laughs> Kabir, get a battle mode stick. That's going to help a lot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I don't know how, how old Kabir is. Check out uh, what, who is this? Oh, yeah. I like their setup. <laughs> yeah, Nikki Soster. Nice, uh, nice setup there, bud. Got the, uh, the hockey ring. Kabir, I was taking a look at your shot. Looking good. Um, so th this, this happens a lot with like younger players. You got to try to get all your body weight into it. So you, you drop down like that, which isn't bad to learn that. Uh, what I would suggest for you is just try to get everything behind and then step into it and then end balanced on this leg. Because on the ice, if it's, it's, if it's your habit to always drop like this, right? Ugh, right, like that every time, then you'll eventually just end up in that position. Might not be the best. When you're in close to the net, that's fine. But I would say uh, step and then end with all your weight here, like you can take a, a stride right after, right? Right, a more active position. Yeah. yeah, so just work on getting that energy heading towards the net, um, stay balanced on that foot and don't drop down as much. It, it's good. It's, it's not like a terrible thing to do. It does happen sometimes in games, but just for this, just work on uh, being that, having that, that uh, knee bend there and having that weight balanced over that, that foot. But uh, overall, I mean, I love your shots. You, you've been doing really well. Uh, it looks like you spend a lot of time training. So de yeah, definitely, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to take a look at Nikki here. Nikki, Nikki looking good. Um, I would just step into those shots. Uh, looks like you're using mostly upper body right here. But I mean, not bad. A little bit of step into it, but you could get more more power get if you sit a bit wider, lower stance. Yeah, start, yeah, low, low wide stance and line. really just drive into yeah. it. And uh, and I'd say because Nikki, your your shot is already pretty good. I would focus on uh, getting that aggressive hip snap right there as well. Um, so it's Use that bottom, lower body a bit more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so for Nicky, because his shot is already pretty good, um, it seems like he's just kind of like going, you know, through, through the motion. Right. So you can like see that half clapper. Kind yeah, of thing. you can see right here. Like I'm, I'm stepping into it, kind of. I'm getting the arm movement, but nothing is really happening here, and that's fine. I, you know, I'm gonna get a shot off still, but if I want to get more of a shot, I'm gonna step and I'm gonna point my toe towards where I want it to go. And now what's going to happen is, is as I come through, I'm going to aggressively snap that, that hip open. What that does is it adds torque to my shot. It also brings my shoulder. So, you know, my, my hand is connected to the stick, connected to my arm, connected to my shoulder. So when I snap, now what's happening is my shoulder is 
pushing, right? right. And, it, and it's just giving you some extra push into that shot. When you do that, as you pull back from this hand, as you hit the ground, you're just putting more force onto your stick. So instead of just kind of like, like this, right? Now I'm boom, like, and really- like Shortening the distance between your, the ground and the, and your shoulder, so there's more flex on the stick, yeah. Yeah, so it, it's like, you know, the, the, this movement is driving, but you're also going like that and, and driving into it as well. So for Nick, Nikki, that's what I recommend. Uh, add that hip snap and focus on really driving that bottom hand through, and uh, that's gonna help, your, help you get some more power. Oh, there we go. You see that explosive power in that one, right? And, and that's the thing, it's a chain reaction. So your legs play a role, your arms play a role, your body movement, but also your hips. And if you get all these pieces working together and they all happen like that, you're gonna get a nice shot. Oh, we got someone waving at the camera. Who's that oh, down there? Zevi, Zevi Gordon, what's up, buddy? Oh, and we, he's got an assistant. It's like a little mason. He's like, no, don't wave at the camera. <laughs> what's up, Zev? I love how they're out on the road. That's, make sure there's no cars. You're gonna slap shot your, teach your uh, little, little bro, I, th I assume little bro, how to slap shot, buddy. <laughs> hey, bud, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wave. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at some of the, um, the video analysis that we got here. Alrighty. What's up? Oh, oh hold on. We got another uh, super chat. So oh, hold on. Where's the light? I'm going to do a, uh, a super chat here. Number one for Swifty 50 and uh, the other super chat. Fuzzy nut. Yeah. Fuzzy nut. Uh, but also for Tommy. Because Tommy, what a beautiful shirt. Uh, I don't know if, if you guys can see that. But Tommy, if you can come close to the camera. He's just got an absolute... Oh, wait. Hayden, you can come out here too. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Hayden and, and uh, oh, he's matching. Uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we got the the black and white, black, nice. red, and white. Yeah. Beauty shirt, Opposite. buddy. Perfect. Uh, and I got the puck Go drop to, team. Uh, hockey.com. Hockeyhockey.com slash merch, slash merch yeah. if you want to set up. Do we have toddler sizes for this little <laughs> I think thing? We do, yes. <laughs> uh, appreciate the support, guys. Love love seeing Team HTH represent. Uh, yeah. Where, where am I? Video I, analysis. Yeah, let's uh, minimize this. I think I full screened it by accident. There we go. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at a few more shots and then we'll do the Q&A and then you guys can go have dinner. <laughs> Your parents are gonna call it, ring the bell for dinner soon. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Not now, mom. I got hockey practice. All right, I believe this will not go away. No, no one opened you, Chrome. Usually it's uh, Internet Explorer this. <laughs> All right, so who do we got here? I think this was, uh, this is Kabir. Nice. So Kabir's got the aggressive step. Oh, the so, leg, the leg right? Kick up. Yeah. Slap shot, how to hockey stream. Kabir has his own YouTube channel as well if you guys want to go and support. <laughs> so Kabir, I, I, would, I would like, I like seeing the step into it, but you don't want to, you don't need to over exaggerate. I mean, it might help you th throw a little extra zip like into it. Like yeah, the yeah. lightweight maybe, but a get, get a nice clean. I like efficiency better, right? Yeah. The more efficient you are, the faster you can get things off and you're learning how to get power from as, as little sort of like, all the unnecessary movements. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then later in, in uh, hockey, it's going to help you a lot to be really efficient with your movements. Mm -hmm. So we got the big step, which is good. Uh, let's see. Points the flip-flops where he wants the puck to go. We got the, uh, the hip rotation, looks like. One thing I noticed right away is that it looks like his uh, foot came down a little bit too early. Yeah. Like he's, he's losing a lot of that power because he's stepping before. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Through. Yeah. yeah uh, and a lot about hockey, right? You've got, you, you've got how you do it and also when you do it. So the timing. Mm -hmm. So the, the timing can play a role. If you land your foot, right, and then like waited three seconds and then swung at the puck, well, you lost that chain reaction. It's like you right. pull an elastic band and let it go. It like snaps, the right? The is gone. Yeah. You want, you want that chain reaction. Yeah, so if you, a if you twist. pause a bit, it, like show them if you pause a bit on the back leg. Yeah. Um, to, to get that timing set up and then step as your stick's coming through. Yeah. You almost want to hit the ground at the same time your foot hits the ground. Yeah, and that's like when we were teaching the snapshot, it's like I like to exactly, kind of, yeah. right? It's, it's like you, you can step, hold, and then snap, and right. you can still get like guys in the- It's almost a deceptive shot in that case. It can be, yeah. And the guys in the NHL will score that way, but you will get a little bit more power if you tie it all together. It's a little more deceptive right. um, if you can go, right? Because it's like skate, 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 shot. Oh, where'd that come from? Right. right? And, and then same thing on the other skate, boom. 
right? It's yeah. just got that a little bit more inception and, it, and you have uh, the kinetic energy. But for uh, Kabir, through. I think that's a big tip for him for all of his shots is getting that timing of weight transfer and when yep. the puck is coming off the stick. So oh, it's funny, I was just uh, checking out Kabir's shot in the, the Google Meet and now we got yeah. it here too. <laughs> he's getting all extra. Got, got the slow-mo. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see where he's hitting the, uh, the ground. Looks like uh, right about there. And then it skips maybe a little bit. And I would try closing that blade a little bit. Yeah. But I mean, it depends how close you are to the net. But if you contact the, uh, the, the ice or the ground with the blade closed, what, ha what that means is you have uh, the shaft angle, right. right? So if I contact, I'll show you here. If I contact the ground right here, there's not much flexing I can do on my stick. The only flex will come from the pull and the push. Right? And there's, there's going to be a little bit of resistance, but if I have this top hand out more, now I can be a little closer and, the weight goes and down. now I can drive more, right? And then I'm, I'm like hitting the ice there and squeezing that out and that, uh, that angle, that shaft angle and that, that uh, low stance really causes the, the stick to flex One a lot point more. One that you made in another stream that I really um, think people like make sense with is... Yeah decreasing the space between your yeah like where the stick is and, and sorry where you make contact with the ice and where you are so the the only way the stick can move is if it flexes away so if you ever did arts and crafts in in public school right uh, we'll keep it because i remember doing this in like grade five you get the um pop school stick right, right? and you got like a bottle cap and you're like flicking yeah, it at people oh, right. yeah, you know yeah. what i mean like so so you lean it like this and you put your thumb there and then you go ping and flick it yeah. Right, so it, it's kind of like the same thing. You're, you you want to squeeze that stick, you decrease the space, and then you're gonna squeeze that stick, and it's gonna pop out. Right, yeah. so similar sort of uh, concept there. Mm -hmm. So I think, um, yeah, like, pretty good shot. I would say, uh, yeah, try to have more of a shaft angle. Right, right here. So close. Whoops, close that blade. Right, and then right there, you're gonna pull. You're gonna drive that hand through. And if that blade is closed a little bit more, uh, it's just going to allow you to, to flex that stick a bit more and drive that has through. Again, to do with like the timing a little bit, because mm -hmm. like he's got. Think of it: if he has the timing right for the weight transfer, his upper hand's going to be out farther still, which yeah. will help with all of those things. So. Yeah, I think there was another. Uh, oh, maybe that's the only one we got. All right, all right so let's, let's go back let's, to this. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll do the uh, the Q and A. Um, so everyone for the Google Meet, if, if uh, maybe we can. Take a few more shots after, but I think uh, we'll do a live chat or the uh, the Q and A. Yeah. Right here. Happy early birthday. Who's that for, Clark McNeil? We got. Oh, Nathan. Nathan, Nathan what's hi. up, buddy? Thanks for tuning into the stream and happy early birthday, buddy. Um, oh, we got La someone tuning in from Latvia. Uh, so let, let's do the question and answer. Hey, Kabir's on the. Uh, there we go. Thanks, Coach. No problem, buddy. Um, question and answer. Anything you want to know? Uh, any questions you have about slap shots, we'll cover that first. But if you want to ask anything, go ahead and ask. Um, yep, let, let's do her. How can I improve slap shot accuracy? So Kabir, we did do a stream on, on accuracy. I think we included slap shot accuracy. Did we do one fully on slap shot accuracy? I'm not sure. It was probably a subset. I'll go over it quick. Yeah. Uh, Hayden, let's, let's go um, mobile here. Sure. And I will uh, do my best to pick apart this elite goalie. Uh, Hilbert. Yeah. Hilbert, he's he's elite, man. Like he he played a uh, couple preseason games in in, the, in the, you know never got a, got a regular season start, but he did play a few preseason games for the uh, the Sharks. You know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> got to aim to the. I, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Your laptop and all this stuff. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we're gonna drop a a YouTube video, like a, a full edited video, on the other channel. So for the uh, for the 56 people, you're getting the, the sneak peek. Uh, we did make some pass rebounders. Yeah. Uh, there's one of them. There we go. So it's a, a DIY pass rebounder. Oh yeah! Look at that wicked backhand. Uh, another one over here. This one was fun. A little bit more heavy duty. Can you guess what we made this out of? <laughs> Oh, look at this. We're going to do this Svechnikov like off a pass. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> that would be hard, but that would be actually pretty sweet. If someone passes. You can do it. You're not even trying. <laughs> okay, one more time. If someone passed through the puck and, and you like, scoop yeah. and. <laughs> I told you. 
told you, it's easy. Thanks, thanks for the, uh, the motivation. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for believing in me. If we're on Twitch, you can clip that and that. <laughs> <laughs> Only the part where I actually get it. Yeah. Uh, anyways, we got. We'll drop that video right after this one. I'll I'll let Hayden go home, but I'll uh, I'll, I'll I'll drop it. Um, okay. So so back to the slap shot accuracy for for Kabir. Um, what I basically your accuracy consists of your top hand, your bottom hand. Your top hand is going to control the blade, right? So you, you open it if you want to go high, keep it closed if you want to go low. You can also control a little bit of left to right. It's kind of like a fine tuning. You're not going to get uh, huge results from the left and right, right? Like, but, but it does affect it. Like if I really roll my wrist to the left, I can make this puck go to the left side of the net. It's kind of like my last minute, I call it the- The um, slap shot, there's way less time of the puck on the yeah, it's, So it's more like- It's less through where you need yeah, to go almost. Yeah, fair. Um, <laughs> So uh, like, I kind of think of it as like the crosshairs. Your top hand is your crosshairs. Your right. bottom hand is like the aiming, right? If you're gonna like shoot someone with a pellet gun, it's like you aim with your right and you kind of like get that fine tuning with the left hand, Yeah. right? Well, I guess it would be on the trigger. <laughs> when I was younger, the main thing I worked on for slap shot accuracy was stepping through, like stepping yeah. towards where you want to go. Exactly, and yeah. Almost lining up your body, your stick, like your stick, so it goes like what? almost straight to the direction you want it to go. So, exactly. So body alignment is gonna is gonna play a key role. So that's the first thing. Uh, step to where you want the puck to go. So if I want to shoot to the right side of Hilbert, I'm gonna step, and my toe ends up pointing to the right side. Yeah. And if I'm going to the left side, I'm gonna step, and my toe is pointing to the left side. That just gives me alignment because if I step here, but then want to aim there, it kind of, it closes it me off. It also breaks your rule of keeping your stick moving in a straight. Exactly. A straight it, I, I'm going to be kind of like locked right when I get here and to try to twist there. It's just going to, it's going to hurt your power. Um, so yeah, step where you want it to go. Uh, the next one is the blade, right? So if I open the blade a lot, uh, here I'm going to contact, but if I have that blade open, right, that puck goes high because the blade was open. The high and low is all that. And, and, angle. and if I keep it nice and uh, closed, and then roll my hand as well through that shot, it's gonna keep that puck low the whole time, right? So I wanna go five hole, I just, I kept- Can't even see it. Right, and, and the bottom hand, same thing. Uh, if I wanna drive, if I drive low, the puck will stay low, and if I drive high, the puck will stay high. So it's just a combination of, uh, you're tweaking the top hand, the blade, and also driving with that bottom hand. Kabir says, thanks so much, I am aiming way better now. Already! <laughs> just like that. Kabir, he's like, he's got it, man, I appreciate that. Love it, buddy. And, and then after that, it's just practice, practice, practice. Nathan Leung asks, how, how do you go bar down? How do you get it to go bar down? So just take those exact tips, drive that bottom arm towards that bar like you want to punch the, the post, right? Because yeah. where that bottom hand is heading is where the blade's heading and where the blade is heading, well, the puck is, is on your blade for a fraction of time. And as long as you have your timing right, then you will be driving the puck towards that crossbar. I would say though, like, you have to work your way up to it. Yeah. The, the best thing to do is work on hitting the inside post. If you're working on your slap yeah. shot actually, try and hit the inside post like, so you can do it like five times out of 10 before you even try to go bar down all the time. Yeah, it's, 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 like, it's fun to go true. bar down, but. I would also say get like a tarp or something behind if you're trying to go bar down. <laughs> yeah, so if you go over. Yeah. Um, Henrik Rosick says, how do I make sure that I don't slow down at the puck? I think, uh, Henrik, I think you're talking about when like you hit the ground, like if the stick doesn't lose speed, maybe. Yeah. yeah. And I think that just comes with, uh, with, you know, repetition, right? Cause like if you hit the ground there and then it's like, Oh, and it's like you hit the brakes. Right. Well, yeah. Cause you don't want to like crush the ground, yeah. right? It's all about your angle and the path of your blade. And you don't want to shoot on gravel. Uh, yeah, fair, fair. But, but like, yeah, I, I could see if you're, if you're really focused on hitting the ground first and flexing the stick, mm -hmm. uh, it actually is pretty subtle. Like, I don't really feel it that much when I'm shooting, like that I'm like, you know, consciously like hitting and then dropping right. and doing all these things. It it's just, just a part of a chain it's, motion, it, it should feel natural, like a flow, right? Like, and it happens in like a fraction of a second. Mm -hmm. So try not to think of it, try to feel it. And that's the same with any hockey skill you're learning. Don't overthink it while you're doing it because it actually slows you down. It's like, and you could try this, go and tie your shoes, put your shoes on. So untie them first if you just slip them on. Like a lot of people, <laughs> untie your shoes completely, put them on and then think about every step you have to do to tie your shoe because it's such a natural thing. Like you just, 
go like that and tie your shoe and it's done. <laughs> or skate laces, go grab your skate laces. Unless you're four years old, then it's, yeah, well, then it's Velcro. <laughs> <laughs> um, or your skate laces, right? Yeah. But it, the second you start to really think about everything you need to do, do, you might forget to do something or do something wrong or be like, oh, or like, you know, it's, it's just because you're, it's like uh, analysis paralysis, you call yeah. it, right? So just try to feel. To Focus yeah. on the feel, focus on the feel, what feels good, right? Uh, so just, yeah, just you're basically just grazing the ground, uh, driving through. Donnie Brook on Twitch says, the garage is looking awesome now. Great job, fellas. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Uh, we got Coach Eric. Puck position for slap shot is really important in a game. If the puck is a little off position, you'll whiff and fall down. Don't forget that part. So I, I do like that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I would say before you bust a slap shot out in a game, you know, you work in the garage, you work in your driveway, you put some rollerblades on, then practice, right? So ponds freeze or, or you get out on the ice, you know, work on it like, usually have like two or three minutes before practice, two or three minutes after practice, grab a puck over to the boards and just work on it, work on it, work on it, work on it. Once you got that consistency, unleash the beast in a game. Yeah. But yeah, if, if it's over and you completely miss the puck, yeah, whatever, if it's off a little bit, you, you probably would just completely eat it. It happens. Mm -hmm. Shake it off. Um, Mr. Fox says, over your McDavid. I would go with McDavid. <laughs> I mean, overall skill, I think McDavid has it. Yeah. Clark McNeil says, I use Velcro because I suck at tying shoes. <laughs> I read that one on here. <laughs> I would like to get Velcro skates, like some heavy duty stuff. At least even just rollerblades. So I slide oh, them over. Yeah, that'd be cool. Just I so mean, you can get in and out of them. My rollerblades are really cheap. They have one Velcro thing on it and one lace thing and one buckle. <laughs> it's like a mixed bag. Oh, it's like, yeah, like yeah. all this thing. But like even like pond hockey skates, if I could get them where I can just slide them on, zip, and then go. Oh, especially when just it's cold. Except, oh, oh, yeah. Gosh. Right? Yeah, you like your fingers are frozen as you're trying to tie your skates. <laughs> so, so Goosh21 says, how do I work on my snapshot style? So uh, we've done some streams on snapshot. We just did one uh, last week on the uh, the quick release, which is you know pretty much a snapshot. Yeah, go watch that if you haven't. Check those out. Ready, yeah. uh, there's a lot of info in there, but I would say, you know, obviously it's repetition. Um, you gotta work on that timing. I, I mean, I won't go into it in deep detail here. Try to answer some I would, quick, like, quick if ones. If you're trying to like establish your own style, Oh, he, he said slap shot. I, he oh, meant. slap shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we have streams in the slap shot. Can we rewatch this one? We just did an analysis on everybody. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I would say it's it's stepping into it. it there's there's a lot more. Like it, it's a different style than any other shot. So it will feel four in the first, you know, few weeks that you're practicing it until you get it down. Mm -hmm. um, record yourself. You know, record yourself and compare it. Slow motion, cell phone. Record your slap shot. Watch a pro taking a slap shot, and then play yours while you're watching the pro. And even try, try to find explain, difference. Break like break your own shot down and yeah. explain it to someone else. Fair. Like the rubber duck method. You, yeah. If you explain what you're doing, like what's happening in it, then you might catch some some errors that you wouldn't notice just by watching yeah. yourself. Too. Yeah. Pretend that. you're teaching someone else. I'm coding, so. <laughs> nice. I'll just talk to Jeremy, and he's my rubber duck. <laughs> <laughs> quack quack. <laughs> oh, Jay Mazzy uh, said he sent a couple of videos on Instagram. Yes, if you could break them down. Oh, I did see them. I must not have scrolled uh, for, far enough back. Oh, that's why, because maybe it wasn't under hashtag Team HTH. Oh, gosh. Let's see. Jay, you got to throw them under Team HTH. Ah, uh, that's that's why I saw them. Uh, let's go. Did think, he DM them to you? No, no. It's probably just like he tagged me, oh, which I, I think see. I can see. Boom, tagged. Jay Mazzy. So I know I, I did see the ones where you we were skating into it. You had the rollerblades on. Tell, a lot of tags. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to make sure I find the right one. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing one in this drive right there. With the white bucky, J oh, Mazzy 91. Um, so, oh, I love that. that here we go. Could we make it any bigger? Like, is that your dad in the background? Just I, I like the sty, the white bucket. You know what? I mean, this is looking good. So, it, I, I like what I see. You got your head up, you're looking for a target. You're punching that top hand out a bit. You got the uh, this hit, this leg driving back. Now, may, maybe what I would do here is is as that that leg drives back, punch that other hand. Like it's this, right? So get that separation. Yeah, to to create kind of like a yeah, because it almost looks like your your top hand as this leg drives back. You bring this hand back first then out and then pull it it's like let's you're, watch it you're again trying to like whip it almost but whip it real good yeah it comes in and then out yeah, yeah. so i would say uh instead instead of pulling it back uh as this leg goes back this 
this hand comes out and then you pull push. So just get a bit more, but like. Ex- I can relate, that, that, this is exactly how I learned the wrist shot. Oh yeah. Like when you're younger, they always teach you to like bring it back, lean through and, yeah. and, and flick the wrist kind of thing. Yeah, uh, well, cause you can still take a shot there. Like if, if I keep my hand, I'll just shoot against this board. Yeah. I can keep my hand right here the whole time. Right, and I can still shoot cause I'm just, but I'm only using my bottom hand. Yeah. Right. Um, and obviously that looks really, really bad. His shot looks a lot better than that. Yeah, you're but exaggerating. Yeah, the, the second I get that hand out, now I've created this space and then I can pull push and it just gives you- Just like you were talking about with the slap shot too. Yeah. It gives you a better angle for flexing the stick. So it's, it's like here and then get that nice snap. Yeah. That, but besides that, I like the, um, the your, your form looks good. Your posture is nice. Uh, it's a chain reaction. Like things are happening quickly together. I would say that that would be the only thing that I would really change. And I think there good was- job, Jake. Another one. Yeah, I, I, can, I can see like you're doing something like with your top hand just before the shot. But, oh, that's why it's a carousel. That's a slow-mo shot. Let's see this one. Uh, I think he did have one off the other leg. Oh yeah, the oh. big step in. Nice. nice, that one looks good. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's watch that one again. The timing's pretty good. Yeah, so, so same thing with this one. When that, that foot, when you step to that foot, bring the top hand out, right? So it's yeah. You can see that, right? Same pointer there, get that separation. Yeah. And it does look like you almost, uh, like you put that leg back so that you can step on it. You, you, you can just like skate, 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 and then there, right? So in, instead of um, skate, this, and then that, Right. Right. It's it's almost like you're adding an extra step by going like this. Right. And then just there. have the one step, like drop your body to the puck. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's just like just drive off. So basically, think of it like uh, he's a uh, righty. Yeah. yeah. So so think of it. Just go uh, stick handling and go right, left, right. All right. So you're driving off that left leg. You're left, right. All right. So you skate, 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 right, left, right. Right. All right. Get that, and I, I think that'll help. And uh, yeah, as that, as, that, um, as you're, you're stepping here, that top hand comes out. I'm exaggerating to get you that. Right. There we go, Mazzy. So hopefully those will help. Let's go back to the, uh, the breakdown. Thanks for sending those in too. And remember, if you want to send anything in, Team HTH, and you can tag me on Instagram as well. Yep. You'll end up in the stream and it helps if you're here. So you can tell us, hey, by the way. You can post on Reddit as well too. And there's lots of people that will give like feedback on there. Yeah, yeah, Reddit how to hockey. That's yeah. always good. And Reddit hockey players is a good one. Yep. Uh, I worked on what you told me to do last week, coach. Beauty, Mr. Fox. Uh, yeah, al- right. Also, I should say, I started, what is it? Team how to hockey. It's a Google classroom. Oh, nice. This is the code. So just, uh, s- just copy that off of the live stream. I'm just kidding. Um, but someone told me that it didn't work. So I'm going to hit refresh and see if anyone joined the class. Yeah, someone said that earlier, but then I saw other people joining. So maybe they just but got the code wrong. It's, it says we don't have any people in here. There's no, oh, no students. But it says invite students or give them the class code. And I put that in the video description. Um, you know what? I'm going to have to help you set up this. We're gonna, I'm going to need tech support. He, I call. He, he comes in an hour with an hour before the stream. Oh, yeah, I want to do this. So I'm like, okay, well, good luck with that. <laughs> um, it's because I was just going to do the, uh, the, what do you call it? Oh, there's a quarantine camp there. I was just going to do the, uh, the Google Meet. And then I saw a Google Classroom. I was looking on YouTube to like, you know, get educated <laughs> just before the exam. Yeah. And I was like, oh, cool, Google Last Classroom. Like, let's have yeah. a how-to hockey Google Classroom. So it's not working, but uh, we'll figure this out and we'll get you guys in there. Eric Blizniz- Bl- Blazinski. Oh, Thanks boom, for Eric. <laughs> Thanks for having Trevor Blaze with a shot. No problem, Eric. Thank you very much. And, and thank you, uh, Trevor. Sorry for botching your name there. I couldn't pronounce it. Blazinski. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. It's like a, it's like a movie. Blazinski. Yeah, almost. Uh, what's what was that? it? Monsters Inc. Is it maybe? maybe? I don't know. Monsters Inc. Or um, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Oh, yeah. going real throwback. Yeah. Uh, Z by Gordon says, Coach, who's your favorite player? It's tough. I mean, it's so hard for me to pick a, a favorite Brad because Marchand. I yeah, it's got to be Brad Marchand for sure. No, <laughs> um, I like different players for different reasons, right? I I think the most skilled player I would say is Connor McDavid. Uh, I'm a Leafs fan, so obviously I love watching Austin Matthews. I wish he would put a little bit more emotion. Uh, like he's a pretty like he's, he's so yeah. He, <laughs> I, I want to see him get fired up. Like I loved the uh, the thing he did with Patrick Kane, oh, yeah. where he's doing like the the back, the back and forth, and forth Sally. Yeah. And I do like when he scores a goal and he's just like is really excited about it. Mm-hmm. Um, 
but it doesn't, it's, it's, I don't know, it seems like he's just kind of like a train out there. Like, he goes, he does his thing, but he doesn't really get, like, fired up and, like, he dominates the game. Yeah. Like, even when he scored four goals, it, it seemed like he's just like, oh, thank you, score. Yep, yeah, got one. Yeah. You know, like, Ovi gets really fired up and, like, you can tell, like, he's, like, he wants it. You know, like, yeah, ah! yeah. You know, like, in, in a game. Uh -huh. um, but, yeah, I like uh, Johnny Gudru, I think, is really good. A smaller player, really skilled. Um, I could probably pick a guy off each team that I like. Yeah. Stammer, I like, you know, Canadian. I really wish that he was in the Olympics. It depends on if you're going, like, purely gameplay or, yeah. like, as a person, too. Yeah. Like, from yeah. what you gather, right? Yeah. <laughs> the Papa, thanks for analyzing my shot. No no problem. Hey, thanks for joining the stream. Love doing this stuff. Um, nice. and, and your shots were really good. And what I was really impressed with uh, is that when I said something, you changed it and it almost worked like instantly. That doesn't happen. Yeah. Like from my coaching experience, I, I try Normally, this. You have to take a step back before Mo it gets better. Yeah. Like 90% of the time they try it and it, and it looks worse yeah. or like, or they're not actually trying like what I It's like, it's hard and you have to like see it. So like, mm -hmm. yeah, good, good job internalizing that and trying it and just keep trying. Uh, what happened to the reward thing? Fuzzy nut. Is that oh, like the hockey shot gift card? Oh, the giveaways. Yeah. I don't know. It's, no, no giveaways. <laughs> oh, man, it's, it's hard to stay organized and, and get all that stuff going. Uh, do you analyze shots from quarantine camp? So, Giuseppe, if you, if you submit something there. Yeah. yeah. I'm checking, I check in, in on that every time before the stream. Jeremy likes to look at it, too. Beauty. Uh, Kabir says, I do not have rollerblades, only rolly guards. Oh, how can I practice turns? Because rolly guards cannot. No, don't <laughs> use rolly guards. Um, is that like the, the skate guards that are yeah like, it's like it's wheels. like a roller skate yeah um i would say you, you pretty much need roller skates like inline yeah. you would need inline to practice any turns or anything like that on the move um yeah, it's not really much <laughs> uh you get a slide board to work on your like inside foot feel yeah but that's about it so that's it guys uh if, if you guys want to join us uh anywhere else uh we i did do a classroom you try to join that. It, we'll, we'll, I'll get tech support. Yeah, I'll figure uh, that out. Remember to, to, to upload stuff uh, here and we can include it in the next stream. Our how to hockey on Reddit. Oh, next stream. Let's do Deeks. Because we did Deeks on the goalie, but we didn't Deeks on like, like how to Deek at a defenseman. Yeah, one on one. Someone did suggest that. I forget who it is. If you're here, let, let me know. But yeah, like one on one, how to, how to Deek a defenseman and, and different moves. So if you have any. So you should really be asking me. <laughs> <laughs> drive wide, Jeremy protect the puck. Wide, drive wide, protect low, the puck. Yeah, the yeah, it's pretty much every time. <laughs> yeah. If it works, it works, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So if you uh, have You're any the sweet deeks, favorite every time. <laughs> you know exactly what it's gonna. Do. I love me. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So so if you have a, a deek or like a move that you pull off in a game, you guys can upload them there. We can throw them in the stream. Uh, if you have a player that you really like, you want to see. Um, you know, maybe like McDavid or like some, some deke or move that a guy uses in the NHL, uh, toss it up there. Anything on YouTube that you really like, we can throw it in there. Yeah. If you see something you like, tag it and show us you trying it. Then we can put it side by side, see how you did. Or that, like that's that. a good idea. Yeah. I like that. Under the stick move. So there we go. Mark, uh, semi, semi, like a semi truck. Uh, already giving us content for next week. There we go. Hop, <laughs> hop on YouTube, find a few under the stick move. They're compilation. You can help. I'll do some of my work for me, right? <laughs> yeah. And just toss Crowd that, the toss that link right there on Reddit How to Hockey. Uh, boom, create post, drop it, and then I can, uh, you know, pull a few clips out of that video. Uh, oh, Deluxe says I got the HTH jersey. Ooh. Oh, Get hold on, limited edition. <laughs> Let's uh, in the clo coach's closet here. If you guys want to pick one up, I know there's one hanging here. Boom. The How to Hockey jersey. Nice. I mean, you're gonna look sharp. There's a red one too. I don't look sharp. There is a red. There's a red one, the white one. I usually wear the red one. Mm -hmm. uh, Deluxe, love it. Thanks, thanks for supporting the uh, the squad. I'll give you a, a gold horn for that one. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to grab one, uh, howtohockey.com/slash/merch. Yep. That's that. Is that the link, Hayden? Yep. That, well, we have everything accessible there because you have all your stuff in different places. I know. So I'm. Not exactly easy I'm not the most organized. <laughs> Whoops. Boom. There's the jersey. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. Pretty slick looking. Thanks, coach. Thank, <laughs> thanks, Eric. Yeah. Appreciate it. Um, we also got hats oh, and stickers. Swifty50 says you skipped my super chat. Hayden, can you bring that up? Oh. I'll oh, see. she wanted us to do. Um, it's a race. Let me find it. Um, workout stuff. Oh, here we go. Found it. Stretches, workouts, agility. Could you do stream on workout, stretches, agility, drill? How can I stay motivated to do? <laughs> how can I stay motivated to do my schoolwork? 
Schoolwork can't really help you. I mean, hockey homework, I can help you. Um, but I do like that. Workout, stretches, agility drills. Uh, Swifty 50 on, on my uh, Instagram, I posted a few workouts uh, and I've been finding some that I really liked from like other people on Instagram. TikTok, you posted one too, right? True, yeah, I did do a, a TikTok on uh, five drills for, for speed. For speed. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I like that. Maybe we can start next week's stream with like a few quick workouts. Like we did when we first started quarantine. I won't actually do them because I'll get out of breath, but I'll show you what you can do <laughs> yeah. just to give you some ideas and things to look into. I have a couple good leg exercises too. Though. Oh, and yeah. actually I could like, I could drop some resources, like uh, people that I yeah. like on, on Instagram good and idea. stuff. All right, Swifty 50. Maybe not a whole stream just because most people that are coming on want to work on like. We could do a workout. I mean, yeah. I could get you guys uh, sweating with the oldies. <laughs> Right here, it's like one and two. I'll put the head, the the oh sweatband gosh, on. Get the 80s uh, headband on. Yeah. Oh, uh, looks 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 like we got a, a workout, family workout going on down here. Uh, nice. What's that, uh, Nikki? Got this uh, family workout going. Uh, but yeah, definitely, we'll we'll do some. Uh, I'll remember to do that for next stream. So there we go. Am I in the helmet? Could be, or we're not doing a draw. But yeah, I think I think the helmet got. We're not. So we're not doing the draw. Uh, Swifty 50, no problem. Thanks for joining in. Always appreciate your support. We'll do some workouts. Um, and I have, I have been working out. I don't know if you can tell, but <laughs> you know what? Like during, usually I play so much hockey that I'm like, I got a home gym or yeah, like a few dumbbells or whatever. I know I'm missing hockey. So and, and I'll work out like once a month. Cause like, it's the one time where I, I, uh, I'm feeling like a little lazy. All I did was like sit and edit videos all day. Like I need to work out. Yeah, so lazy. <laughs> So exactly, but I've, I've found since I haven't been on the ice, I'm like, I need, like, I need to stay in shape. I, exactly. Yeah. I need the blood flowing. I need to the, yeah. get the blood pumping. So yeah, I, I have been doing some workouts. Um, and there's a few that I found that are really nice. So yeah, definitely drop those in live stick and cl classes. Braden, I like that idea. It's good. Mm -hmm. Something we could incorporate. Um, anyways, that's it for the stream guys. Remember submit your stuff to Reddit, how to hockey. You can join us over at quarantine camp, which is uh, boom right there. Quarantinecamp.ca. Can keep you up to date with everything you want, yeah. and uh, give me a follow on on Insta at How to Hockey. You can tag me. Use Team HTH. You can follow. If you tag me as well, then I'll make sure Jeremy sees it. Yeah, at, and it's at How to Hayden is yeah. Uh, yeah the other HTH. So thanks for joining the stream, everyone. Uh, see you next Wednesday at 4 p.m. Later. Peace.